In this short video tutorial, we're going to take a look at how to use the redaction tools built within Foxit Pro Editor. So the first thing we need to do is have a PDF that we want to open and edit with the Foxit Pro Editor. So let's go ahead and do that. Here I just downloaded a PDF that had some images and text in it so that I could show you that it works well on both and to show you a little bit about how all of this works. So let's take a quick look at one of the pages inside of this document. And the first thing that we wanna do is switch over to our Protect tab inside of Foxit. And let's look at how we mark things for redaction. So the first thing that we do is click Mark for Redaction, and then we can just highlight what we want to redact. Once that's done, it's not actually redacted. We get a preview of what will be blocked out when we hover, but otherwise it's just outlined in red. And you can see I left a little spot out here, so we're gonna actually mark that to make sure that we're redacting the whole document. And if we wanna make that look even a little neater, we can click on it, which you'll see this little teal box around it, and we can press delete. And let's try to get the whole thing this time. Let's see how we do it. There we go. Now we have the whole thing. Perfect. Once we have it marked for redaction, we can right click on it and we're able to go in and actually mark it based on uh, Freedom of Information Act and Privacy Act if we'd like. Uh, we can also go in and at this point apply just this change. Now it's going to say this can't be undone, so make sure that you're ready when you do click this. So we'll go ahead and click it. And this document will be redacted. There we are. And we can open that up in any PDF editor and it will be fully redacted. Let's take a look at another option, which is redacting images. So let's go in here and let's redact this whole image here. And again, same tools apply. And again, I'm going to say apply. We can also redact entire pages. So if we click on the mark for redaction, we get a drop down that allows us to search for specific terms and redact each of those terms, or we can do an individual page. So in this case, we're actually going to redact all of page 26 and click OK. Notice that page 26 in the page browser is now highlighted in red, and when we hover over it, we see that it redacts. Let's make another change. In this case, we're going to search for the word Colbert. And we found 42 instances. We're gonna check all of those instances where Colbert is mentioned. And we're going to mark all those checked results for redaction. And then we're going to apply those redactions. Perfect can see as we scroll through here many places where Colbert was redacted. And you'll see that that actually applied the redaction to page 26, which is great. So we have now redacted this document. So let's go ahead and click save. And this is going to ask you to save it under a new file name. And it's going to suggest redacted at the end of it. We'll accept that. And let's close this out. And let's open up the redacted version. We're going to open it up with Preview, and we're going to also open it up with Acrobat Reader. Okay. So as we come into our document, let's scroll and notice that we see Colbert has been removed. We have our image removed text at the top of this page and the full page on page 26. Let's verify that that is the case here as well. Again, Stephen Colbert, the full page, top of this page, and this image. So there you go. You now know how to go in and open up a document and begin redacting information, whether that be text you can search for, text that you manually select, how to remove things that you accidentally mark, how to apply your changes, and how to even mark out full pages and images.